Next, let's take a look at the steel composite beam design now included in SAFE version 20. Under the design tab, if you click on steel composite beam design, view revised preferences, this is where you can choose the steel beam design code, as well as make changes to other composite beam design preferences. You can click on each one of these tabs to make changes, and you'll notice here on the right hand side, there's an item description giving you detailed information about the parameter you are changing. In the bottom of the form, you can select between one of the many different design codes available here in the program. As you can see here in plan view, we are viewing the frame sections that have been assigned. If I right click on any one of these secondary beams, you can see under design procedure, composite beam design, they have been assigned auto select lists. So if I go to define, section properties, frame sections, you can see a list of sections here, as well as an auto select list, which has been defined. So what is that? An auto select list is actually not just a single frame section, but a list of frames sections that SAFE will actually choose between and do calculations for the design. So once we run the analysis and design, SAFE will have performed a calculation for each one of the sections in the auto select list, choosing the most efficient section based on the code and loads you've provided. SAFE automatically creates default design load combination based upon the active design code. So if we go to define load combinations, you can see here are all the default combinations that have been included. Separate design load combinations are specified for construction loading, final loading considering strength, and final loading considering deflection. As you can see here, these default load combinations are named DCMPC1 and C2 for the construction loading combinations. And the next ones, DCMPS1 and S2 for the com load combinations used to check strength under the final loads. And finally, DCMPD1 and D2 for the combination used to check deflections. You can replace any of these combinations with your old loan combinations by simply clicking on add new combination and defining them manually. Okay, why don't we go ahead and run the analysis and design. After the analysis has been run, we can take a look at design, steel composite beam design, and we'll start design check. So you'll notice that these secondary beams have been assigned composite beam design procedures. The primary beams were all steel frame design, so it only ran the design for these secondary beams. So when I right click on a beam while the design results are displayed, it will enter the interactive design mode and you can interactively design the beam. So as you can see here, when the beam was assigned an auto select list like we did, the acceptable design list shows the various designs generated for all the selections in that auto select list. So if I were to assign just a specific section instead, this list is limited to one design generated for that specific section. So some of the information that's being shown consists of the section itself, shear stud distribution, camber, and a number of design checks that all must be satisfied for the design to be acceptable. The controlling ratio displayed in this area is the largest of the design ratios evaluated. You'll see here when a design is selected from the list, the details of the design checks are shown on the right side of the form. For strength checks, it displays three columns of numbers. First column lists the factored values of the shear, positive moment, and negative moment, if any. The second column lists the corresponding allowable maxima for the current selected design. And finally, the third column lists the ratio of the numbers in the first two columns. And in constructability and serviceability checks, this displays the details of several types of checks, shear studs, crowding check, the deflection checks for the various load conditions. And if we click on the report, it will give you detailed information about the design, including composite deck properties, end reactions, strength checks. This report can be accessed for any of the sections that SAFE did calculations for. Now, if we take a look at some other output, let's go to the Model Explorer. You'll notice under Tables, after you run the analysis and design, you have access to lots of different information. You can click on Analysis Results, 
design results. You can see composite beam design output. This can be shown as a beam summary table and as well as detailed information uh, for each specific beam designed. You can right click show table and it will give you all the detailed information you need. You'll notice I clicked on show table, but you can also export this table to Excel, access, and a few different other types of formats.